So go to hierarchy, effect, pivot again, and here, move it up and back. Right, and this time let's go and move it back as well. So let's go and see the animation, as you can see. So you can change the timing here, you know, this one probably starts here somewhere. Right, okay, and the rest is, um, for example, this T here. Um, let's go this one, this one, no, actually just move it, you know, forward again, you know, just want to make it look like a gun. So, again, you know, so it's just, like I said, all accidental, you know, I don't know what I'm creating, but, you know, this is something, it will come out nice in the end. You can also, you know, change the position keys, you know, and this, let's say, this one is basically bring it here somewhere. Yep. Let's uh, move it forward. Okay, again. I think in five seconds, five frames, I'm gonna move it, you know, forward. So, hang on. So it comes forward. No, it snaps. Make sure the snap tool is on. So at five frames is like that, and come to seven frame. Let's say it's you know moved up like that. So this is how it's going to look. Let's move it forward. Select this keyframe here, press shift, and I want to pause here, you know, it pauses and then moves up, you know. You get it? Okay, this is the second one. Let's do the same with this, effect pivot, move tool, you know, and come out of hierarchy mode and then again at frame something you know I just want to bring it forward again there it is and this time let's move it up so it goes inside the other one you're trying to create something here so bear with me a second and I'm sure you'll find out right hierarchy again so it's quite a lengthy procedure what I'm going to do I'll just do the first one and you do the rest so I'll take your sweet time and then do it okay uh, right so let's move this one back like a gun you know here yeah. right so you have to have some kind of shape you know in your mind of what you're going to do with it this one as well you know move it down ups effect pivot only so only then the pivot is going to move otherwise the pivot is not the whole thing is going to move and you'll mess up the whole animation you know, so you got to be careful so here, I'm going to move it back as well. So let's move back. This one. And raised up, you know. So let's move this, you know. Right. So this one, let's just move it, you know. Um, again, effect pivot. Just move it, you know, probably, oops, come out of pivot mode, and, uh, okay, what I'm going to do with this one, let's move it up, you know, instead of down. So, it, these things, they move with the pivot, you know, so, can you see that? So, this is like, moved up, and then let's move it inside, you know, like it's packed. So I hope you guys are following me, you know, it's nothing just... Right, so these ones just... Let's open them up, you know. So all kind of, you know, accidental animation, you know. Okay, this is no set rule for this, you know, I'm just creating something. So you take your time and uh, create something, you know some shape that looks interesting basically that's the idea behind it you know so let's move it up let make it you know one compact shape instead of you know something that is scattered around yeah yeah so also just move around the keys you know just make sure that it's like this whole thing is done in one second you know Save your work as well. So this one, let's move it in all forward. So 
so the ones that didn't move you know let's move them you know so there's some kind of movement you know that we need here don't just uh, follow me just create your own animation you know anything that's interesting so there's something you know we created as so let's move this one you know looks like this is a huge piece you know I want to just bring it down somewhere just bring it back also just move it down as well you know right so just bring it here Now basically this one whole piece, yeah. So let's go and select all of it, and then we just go to and make it group. You know, let's press T. So that this is T animation of T here, right? Just make it closer. Just bring it a bit forward. We don't want to start it from zero, you know. Okay, there's an odd movement here. This is because of this last animation here, just delete this key probably yeah so this is you know yeah now let's see um, while this whole animation is happening we want it to flip as well you know so let's go and see how you want to make it flip you know right so the pivot point is in the center auto key and let's say it flips like this, you know. So let's make it flip more so it looks interesting. And this side as well, you know. Yeah. So this is basically one animation that we did, you know with T. So basically T is transformed, you know. Also when you right click it, you know, and, and go to object properties and apply object, you know, enable object blur. Here when you render it, you'll see that something interesting is happening here. Yeah. Let's move it back and you'll see. Give it a good angle or something. You know. see here it looks interesting so this is how you're going to do the rest of the animation you know so for example um, for example let's duplicate it you know duplicate it again duplicate it again you know right so basically we got a T T T we got we got let's say T R A N transformers you know this is how I'm gonna do the rest but I'm showing you you know you can you've done T then you hide T and then this do the same process with the R then do the same process with A N S F you know the whole transformers text do the same thing you know and then arrange it and then this is how you're gonna do it you know click here the first animation let's say starts breaking from here. Okay, let's do the camera move as well. This is our camera. And we go to free camera here, go to target. Now and uh, select these text here. Bring it in the middle, yeah. Press C. Sample we go near it, you know. In thirty seconds, you know, the camera for example, you know comes here somewhere and in 40 seconds you know it goes inside the text right yeah this whole thing is happening at one time so we need to make it interesting let's say the camera first comes here right so we don't want the whole animation start till here Oops. select the whole animation Select all these keys, move them forward here somewhere. 
So you want it to start here, right? So select this one because this is nearer to the camera. So you want this one to start first, okay? Then this one. So move all the keyframes forward. Keep this one, you know, forward as well. Keep this one. Keep this one. Select all these keys and move it forward. So let's go break this one first, and then second. Then we want this one to break because it's closer to the camera here. So if this one starts breaking, then this one, you know, bring it here somewhere, and then the last one, you know. So do you understand? This is how you're going to do the whole animation. Basically, I'm just showing you the idea, you know, and then you can do it on your time. If I start doing this whole thing, it's going to take hours long, you know, this because it's a long procedure. So go to render, and if you want to turn down the blur, you know, go to renderer. Here, the blur is like duration. Let's say make it 0.3 to make it more interesting. So it's less blurry, right? So this is, you know, for example, you've done this transformers animation you know this is your move the camera comes close here you make another file similar like this please follow this point you make another file similar like this of the text do you want this text to transform into you know so another file let's say this is transformers now create another file and and write down text like 747 yeah so break 7 in the same way then 4 in the same way and 7 in the same way and then animate that from here this point onwards you know and we'll play that backwards like this so it will transform into 747 you know so look how interesting this thing is so this is a basic whole uh, basic idea right okay so I hope you guys are following me. This is, you know, I'm not doing the whole thing, so don't panic, you know. This is just a very simple procedure. It's just a repeat, you know. You just got to repeat it with all the text. Okay, so once you repeat it, just line it up, you know, the text like this. You know, change the positions, get your good camera angle, and then just go and hit render. So render it, you know, from frame 1 to 100 or whatever, you know, your, how long your animation is. Go save it, you know and then you just hit render and then render as PNGs remember you need to render this as you know PNGs you know so that you get the you don't want the background you know so when you render it you get your first animation this is your first animation the second part you know save this file make um, and then file save as you know make uh, name it you know second or any animation you know name name it second so this is the second part and in in this animation you know just delete all these text and just write down new text that you want the first text to transform into for example in my case it was max after in my case it was transformers and then transforms into 747 so you can write 7 and then break it up you know the similar way that we broke T and then 4 and then 7 you know S and then same camera angle you know and then so that when you play it backward it transform into 7 so let's go um, to After Effects so that I can show you why I did you know okay here we are in After Effects you know this is you know the text let's go and make a folder here name it Tuts so import our video that is video first you know let's go to renders this is what I was talking about first click first here sequence PNG yes and open it you know you've already got it here so I'm going to just delete it this is the first one and create a new you know text so here it is this is here it breaks you know and when it reaches here somewhere we'll bring our second text which is you go and get the second one you know this is the second for example 747 we've got it here so what I'm going to do is just bring it here 7 open this up and just um, time stretch change this to minus 100 you want to play that one backwards right so here you know we put our 
next text, go to compos composition, composition setting and change the time to let's say 0 6 seconds or something. So our first animation was this that we just did. So when it reaches here somewhere, you know, this is a good angle so we can just introduce our second text here. So here I want to bring my second text, for example, from here somewhere. So let's just put keyframes here, press T, turn it down to zero, and here just turn this down to zero. And here somewhere make it hundred. And here this one press T and make it keep it hundred and when it reaches here it's turn it to zero. So now when you render you'll see the magic. That's it, you know. See? So that's how you know you need to do it. So it goes back, you know, here. Then second one comes in. We've played it backwards, so here it is changing to seven four seven. So this is how you know you're gonna do the whole animation. The rest of the stuff that I did is nothing new, you know. In my old tutorials you'll find all this stuff. I've added a little bit of, you know, uh glow to it and some lines and CC particles, you know. So to make it look cool. So this uh, file is also attached so that you can uh, study this file and see how I've done it. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, my name is Shwaib Khan from maxafter.com. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be on all of you.